Octonauts, to your stations. The Octonauts and the Great Swamp Search. A new message? Let's see what this is all about. Oh, me an Octonaut. This is in the Everglade. I'm big out there. We got marsh fires. Immediately. Repeat, need help immediately. Captain, I think you better come down here. I still can't make out the name. Oh, sounds like he said his name is Danger Shark. I think it sounds more like Stranger Carp. <sighs> What's all the commotion up here? We received a distress call, but we can't make out who it's from. Listen. Come in, Octonaut. This is Ranger Marsh. Oh, me, oh, my. I know exactly who that's from. Ranger Marsh. My dad. Your, Your dad? dad? Yep, and it sounds like he needs help. Captain Barnacles, sound the Octo Alert. Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've just received a distress call from Tweak's dad, Ranger Marsh. He's a park ranger in the Everglades, where I grew up. The Everglades are a large area of swamps, forests, and waterways in southern Florida, which is in North America. The Everglades are one of the largest wetlands in the world. They're full of murky water, deep mud, and marshes so thick you can hardly see where you're going. We're gonna need a vehicle that's built for the swamps. Tweak. Climb aboard, everyone. Here we are, the Everglades. This is where you grew up, Tweak? Sure is. Though I haven't been back to visit in a long time. Well, Tweak, which way now? Uh... I'm not exactly sure where my dad is stationed these days. So, how will we find him? We'll just have to keep our eyes and our ears open. <laughs> Let's go. We're coming up on some mud, Cap. Tweak, this new gup is amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I first had the idea for it when I was just a little bunny. My dad and I used to... Wait, cut the engine. How long you been following us? Who's she talking to? About a mile or so. <laughs> it's easy to track a big, noisy hunk of junk like this. <laughs> pa! Tweet. I'll have you know I built this hunk of junk. <laughs> Octonauts, meet my dad, Ranger Marsh. Hello there. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Why don't y'all follow me to the ranger station and I'll fill you in. I've never seen a radio so uh, well used before. Well, I'm just glad you got my message. See, it's the dry season here in the Everglades, which means one thing, fires. Fires? 
That's right. When lightning strikes the dried up plants, it can cause big wildfires around here. Hmm. There's a lightning storm moving in now. Don't worry, we'll help you put out any fires. <laughs> Thanks, but fires are good for the Everglades. They clear out the old dry plants and help new ones grow. But what about all the creatures who live here? Most of them know what to do in a fire. It's these critters I'm worried about. Invasive species. The Everglades are full of invasive species. Critters that come from somewhere else and don't belong here. How did they all get here? Different ways. Some were pets that got loose. Some were stowaways on ships. Well, one thing's for sure. They all cause a lot of problems. And they probably aren't used to wildfires. Bingo. We gotta find them and get them home safely before any fires start. That's why I called the best creature tracker I know. You made the right call, matey. I'll help you find those beasties. Actually, I meant tweak. Bill Tweak? Back before she started building all them gadgets and gizmos, she used to help me track down critters all the time. Those ears of hers could hear a swamp rat sneeze a mile away. Well, Pa, what are we tracking? A sucker mouth catfish, a gang of Nile monitor lizards, and I'm not exactly sure what that last one is, but rumor in the swamp is that it's big. Dashie, Shellington, Tunip, spread the word about the fire danger. Aye, 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 Captain. The rest of us will go with Ranger Marsh to track down the invasive species. Octonauts, let's do this. All righty. First on the list, a sucker mouth catfish. Goes by the name of Spiny Sue. Any idea where we can find it? Well, if this naughty thing don't scare her off, we just have to be on the lookout for it. Over there! <laughs> That's the spirit, matey! That catfish looks spiny. Better take these octo grabbers. <laughs> She's been through here all right. Look. So this fish has feathers? Of course not. But it could be a clue. You hear anything, Tweak? <gasps> Over there. Some kind of struggle. It's... A pelican. There's something in its pouch. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Now open wide and say, ah. What are you looking at? <gasps> the sucker mouth catfish. Her spines are caught in her pouch. I knew it. She's been bothering birds all over the Everglades. That's what they get for trying to eat me. The birds back home knew better than to mess with spiny Sue. Easy now. This won't hurt a bit. There. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Oh. Now let's get you back to where you were. nobody going to eat me today. Follow that catfish. Quick, before she gets to her burrow. <laughs> You'll never catch me now. <laughs> Try using your grabber, Cap. Okay. Easy. We're not going to hurt you. <laughs> You'll have to be faster than that. Wait, we're just trying to help. <laughs> oh, miss. Too slow again. <laughs> and with nothing but my bare paws. No fancy gadgets or gizmos for me. What's that big idea? Let me go. I'll be we'll let you go, all right, down in South America, where you belong. You mean I'm going home? That's right. Well, why didn't you just say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One down, two more to go. Oh, let's see. The fish all went to deeper water. <laughs> the muskrats are safe in their burrows. Ranger Marsh was right. The creatures here really do know how to deal with wildfires. Good thing, too. That lightning storm's moving in fast. Attention, Flamingos! Watch out for the wildfire! Huh? What did he say? He said, watch out for wildfires. Wildfires? <laughs> we Flamingos don't worry about wildfires. <laughs> Please make sure they have a safe place to go, huh? Please make sure you have a safe place to go and... What the smell? What's that smell? Uh, oh, what is that smell? Smells like the Swamp Beast! Fly for your life! Oh, no. You don't 
think it might be the mystery creature Ranger Marsh was looking for, do you? Only one way to find out. The smell seems to be coming from over there. Let's go. In you go, Spiny Sue. The Vegemores will keep you comfortable at the Octopod until we can take you back to South America. Oh, don't take too long now. I can't wait to get home. Well, Ranger Marsh, what's next? Nile monitor lizards. Three brothers by the names of Ronnie, Donnie, and Lonnie. And I think I know where to find them. I thought we were searching for lizards, not alligators. No, those gators won't give you much trouble if you stay out of their way. But the monitor lizards... Something's coming. There. Those monitor lizards aren't afraid of anything. I'd heard they'd even been bothering the gators. What are they up to? All right, here's the plan. Donnie, you go around that way. Got it, Ronnie. I'll go around the other way, and Lonnie, you move in from behind. Lonnie? Lonnie! Huh? Oh, sorry, Ronnie. It's just I'm so hungry. I wish we was back home. Always had plenty to eat there. Well, we ain't home, so we've got to eat what we can find. And those little green wiggly things <laughs> will do quite nicely. <gasps> They're going for the baby alligators. We'd better do something fast. Maybe we can lure them away. No time for that, Captain. Quasi! No. <laughs> Stay away from those little gators! <laughs> A tough guy. We can deal with tough guys. All right, boys. Tail whip. What in the... Ow! Hey, you leave my nest alone. But it wasn't me. It was... Leave us alone. How? Now you get out of here. Yeah. Leave us alone. Ow! Quick, while he's busy. Was he? Up here. Phew, that was a close one. But where are the monitor lizards? It's me! Good one! Now, let's get out of here! Look! They're getting away! Better let us handle this one, Pa. We'll save him. Come on, Cap. <laughs> there they are! Looks like we've got company. <laughs> Hand over that baby gator. Honey, catch! <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> Tweak, go after Ronnie. Uh, I think that's Donnie. Oh, hi, Donnie. That's Lonnie. Don't help them here! Cap! Cap, the batteries are running low. We can't give this up much longer. Don't worry, Tweak. Woo! I think I have an idea. Woo! A blast of wind should do the trick. Hey there, little fella. Hey, that was our lunch. <laughs> Over here! Blood! Who think? Stuck! Now! That's a big idea! Gotcha! Yes! <laughs> Phew! Good work, everyone! <laughs> you can keep your fancy speeders, Tweak. Ain't nothing a little mud can't solve. Shh! He's sleeping. Time to get you back to your mama. And time to get you boys back to your home, along the Nile River in Africa. Home? We are going home? But what about lunch? <laughs> Try these, mateys. <laughs> oh, no, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Two down. Just one more to go. Mm. Still no sign of the mystery creature. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, what is this? 
this thing? It's a snake skin. All snakes shed their skin as they grow bigger. The snake that shed this one must be huge. Or longer than a gap. <sighs> mm. And that smell must be snake musk. It's a stinky liquid large snakes make. But there shouldn't be any snakes this large in the Everglades. <gasps> the mystery creature! Better call Ranger Marsh. Hmm, keep the fish biscuit coming. Them is yummy. There are plenty more back at the octopod. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Ranger Marsh, come in. This is Ranger Marsh. Say again. Ranger Marsh, come in. Mm, was working fine this morning. Better let me try. Dashy, this is Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Captain. You better come quick. I think we may have a lead on the mystery creature. We'll be right there. Yow! Just what I was afraid of. This skin came from a Burmese python. Jumping jellyfish. Burmese pythons will eat anything they can fit in their mouths. And they can open their mouths very wide. Mm, this one is a female by the looks of the scales. A female? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tweet, what do you hear? Eggs. Python eggs, freshly hatched. But where are the baby snakes? Hi. All I see are eggs. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Of course. Some snakes like to hide in their shells for a few days after hatching. Looks like we got here just in time. Sure did. If these little fellers slithered into the swamp, pretty soon the whole Everglades would be crawling with huge, hungry snakes. And that storm's almost here. We'd better get these eggs to safety before any fires break out. Wait, we found the Burmese python eggs, but where's the mummy python? <gasps> She's right here. That is a big snake. She was so quiet, I never heard her coming. Now, drop those eggs. You and your eggs are in great danger. If lightning strikes... I don't know what you are, but nobody messes with my nest. We just want to help. We are the Octonauts. Octonauts? Don't have those where I come from. I wonder what an Octonauts taste like. Oh. <laughs> What's that? That there's a wildfire. We don't have those where I come from either. My babies, what do I do? Don't worry, we're going to get you and your babies out of here. Promise? If you promise not to try to eat us. Promise. How will we get out of here? Leave that to me. Everyone, onto the gob. Now hang on. And we'll be back at the ranger station. Oh, no. My baby! Oh, no, you don't. Ah, gotcha. Huh? It's too muddy. I'm stuck. Hang on, Ranger Marsh. I'm throwing you a rescue line. Huh? Ah. Whoa! Ha! Tweak! Flappy! 
Gapperty Flippers. How will we get to him now? That tree looks too big for the Gap K to chomp through. Aye, and the flames are too big to put out. We can't go over it. So we'll have to go under it. Be careful, Twig. Stop! You'll get lost in the murky water. Here, grab on. I'm coming for you, Pop. Oh, me, oh, man. Uh, easy, Pa. It's me. Twig, stay out of the mud and you'll get stuck, too. Mud? Ain't nothing these octo-grabbers can't handle. Now, climb on. Hurry, the fire's closing in. <laughs> <laughs> We're trapped. Not for long. That was a close one. Safe at last. Thanks. I don't know what we would have done without your help. I'm just glad we got to you in time. You have Ranger Marsh to thank for that. Well, I had a lot of help. You're still a great tracker, Tweak. <laughs> and I gotta admit, all your gadgets really came in handy today. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Pa. <laughs> Children, wave goodbye to the nice park ranger. Safe trip home. And thanks again, Octonauts, for all your help. Goodbye, Ranger Marsh. Everyone ready? Wait, I, I almost forgot. This is for you, Pa. <laughs> it's real nice. What is it? An Octo tablet. Now we can talk to each other whenever we want. And you won't have to use that old radio. <laughs> Thanks, Tweak. Y'all take care now. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. 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 Good work today, Octonauts. And it was very nice to meet your dad, Tweak. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of him from now on. Destin, Destin, one, two, Tweak, this Octa tablet's amazing, but why are you upside down? <laughs> I think you're holding it upside down, Pa. Oh, so I am. Now that's better. Wait, now the volume's messed up. 